What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host of SharePoint in 60 Seconds. Stay tuned to find out how you can add metadata to a folder in a SharePoint document library. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, I hope everyone is doing well. Today, we're gonna show you how to add metadata to a SharePoint document library folder. Now, here at SharePoint in 60 seconds, we like to try and give you that information right up front in the first minute. And then if you wanna stick around, we'll show you the gory details. So here we go. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hop into your document library, you're gonna add a new folder. Or maybe you already have some folders that exist. You're gonna make sure that you are not in a grouped view. That's right, you cannot be in a grouped view to do this. After you make sure you're not in a group view, you're gonna click on quick edit. From there, you're gonna select the cell for the metadata you wanna update, and then just update it, and then click on exit quick edit. So if you wanna stay tuned, we'll go ahead and take a peek at how to do that, all the steps. All right, so you stuck around. Here we go. So let's just go ahead and add a new folder here. We're gonna do a folder for our undecideds. So there's our undecided folder, but oh no, lo and behold, there's no metadata. What are we gonna do? Well, like I said before, make sure you are not in a grouped view because if you are in a grouped view, you will not have the option for quick edit. So make sure that you are, are not in a group view, click on quick edit. Now we have access to that metadata. We can go ahead and click on the cell, drop down, undecided, and then we're gonna exit quick edit edit I had to click it twice and there you go that's it you've got your folder and you've got your metadata now if you want to find out how I was able to get these super cool colors just go ahead and click the link up here and you'll be able to see a tutorial on how to use conditional formatting to uh, introduce colors and bold text, italics, all sorts of neat things into your metadata. So with that, I'm going to let you get back to doing what you do so well. Please like and share this video. And most importantly, please subscribe. We are on a mission to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And with your single click, you're gonna help us meet that goal. So thank you very much. With that, all the best to you. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.